Hello and welcome everybody to a really spicy one that we got going on today in this legacy stream. This one goes out to uh, Donny. Thank you so much for your, what's the word I'm looking for? Astounding support to the channel. So hopefully you enjoy this one right here. This is a deck that I decided to call Land L Landk Luster. Of course, I, I am big on punts. I, I, I am, I'm, a, I'm a punt master, some might say. And uh, punts and punts, both of them. And basically the main thing, whenever I saw this list, I'm like, yeah, this list is not playing enough lands. <laughs> That's, that, was, that was my immediate conclusion. So I guess that we're gonna miss a lot of land drops in this league, but it's gonna be great. So don't worry about it. Um, so what we're playing here is shit ton of one drops, um, swords, brainstorm, ponder, preordain. Hopefully that makes so we don't lose that many land drops. Couple of bolts as re extra removal. One of random pipe needle. I have kind of no idea why it's here. And then if, of course four astrolabes with this hand. This card is messed up. What we do have though is some counter balance. Uh, which seems very very bad in this deck, but we're gonna see how good it actually is. And then the win conditions are for Arcanist, for Monastery Mentor. That's it. Um, I have no idea how a deck with nine three drops. Though I guess that force is not really a three drop, but a deck with seven three drops just gets away with playing only sixteen lands. Like this kind of blows my mind. But we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, though I guess that that's kind of what Delver does, right? Like they, Delver just plays like fifteen lands and four wastelands. So. Basically, it's the same thing, so it's gonna be okay. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but yep, let's see how this deck uh, plays out. Um, it, that, it does look kind of sweet. I, I'm not so sure about the counterbalances though, like this. Let's hope that I'm impressed by it. Obviously, the combo with Brainstorm is obvious, but like, that's it. Maybe we just get to Brainstorm a lot because of Arcanist. Who knows? <laughs> let's find out. Let's find out. Um, but I do like myself uh, some Monastery Mentors. Like, this is such an underplayed card, in my opinion. Like, the effect is just absurd. I mean, it's banned in Vintage, right? It's uh, restricted in Vintage, so... How bad can this be? Also, the sideboard. Like, 16 lands and just 4 drop in the sideboard. Like, that's just ballsy. <laughs> That is just ballsy. I do like the the mentor days combo. Okay, we're playing against somebody who's three and zero. Perfect hand. Let's go. I mean, what could go wrong with this hand? It's just perfect. Of course, like CBN's reclamation looking looking great here. So we need a planes here. Yeah, but say you know you're playing like literally half your usual line count. Uh, a little bit, honestly. But yeah, I mean, you're actually right. It is literally half the amount of lands that I usually play. Literally half. Same mountain on top. Pfft. Bullshit. Don't mind if I do. Brainstorm is basically counter spell. We don't know what's on top of the deck. We might be playing against Storm, actually, with my opponent's play patterns here. Oh, no, just Broco.
they have to force this. So we're gonna flip, see what's on top. There's a dace on top of the deck. So we force here. Rainstorm. Reveal to counterbalance. <clears throat> Mentor. There's a two on top, which is not great, but it is what it is. Maybe I should have put Savine's Reclamation just to play around another Oko. Yeah, I think I might have fucked up here. Yeah, I definitely fucked up. I should have put another three. Like, I wasn't expecting Leo, but I should have expected another Oko, maybe. I mean, do I care about this guy? I feel like I kind of care. I mean, I, I guess I'm just gonna dace it. Just double dace it, get some tokens. They can have fours, but if they have fours, we still get to untap and play counterbalance. We get some monks into play. Sort of yield to these bad boys. Maybe that's why Mentor doesn't see so much play. It's just too many triggers. It's the only... And I just... Well. <laughs> What's it? Force on top? Yeah, like that was that was obviously a misclick due to lag, but hopefully they have like a push or something like that as an answer to this. Oh, that's great, sweet. Because now we get to reclamation the mentor back. I mean, they, they should be dead here, but sure, we're just going to continue playing, I guess. Right click, attack with all my creatures. There we go, figure it out. The misclick hurts worse than misplays, it might be, honestly. I mean, it's just, it's just frustrating, right, because it's just 100% based off of stupidity. And stupidity kind of hurts. <clears throat> Especially because I guess we wouldn't have had lethal, but it would have been kind of close to lethal. Or close-ish. Freddy with a tier 1 sub. Welcome back. For the third month in a row. Appreciate the support. Yes! Yes! Blind flip the force. GTFO opponent. Out of here. Let's reveal the force again just so my opponent knows, you know? 
Just so they know how owned they just got. Whew. Uh, let's go. So they get back Udo up to, um, I mean, there's a force on top and they know it, so. They get back Udo. That is, also they kind of punt it, I think. Right, because like, they only get one of those cards. Uh, no, I, 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 guess, I guess that that's correct. So they go up to nine. We are going to get to Brainstorm. I mean, we still attack, right? Like, there's no way that we don't attack. When my counter balance is set, it uses bonus deck instead of yours. That would be pretty interesting. It might actually be good. All right, this, this counterbalance is starting to get annoying. <laughs> this counterbalance is starting to get pretty annoying here, not gonna lie. So we attack with everything. Opponent is forced to block here. They take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or I can just force my own spell, and that's lethal. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we just hold priority and we force our own spell and we win. Okay, so we have to click on preordain. I'm holding control. We click here, we say cast. We trigger here a bunch. Yield to these triggers. Still holding priority. Force our own thing. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. Four hundred IQ. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so Pyroblasts, yes please. Pyroblast, no. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is the kind of card I want here. Do I want this card? I guess I'd rather have Plow than Bolts. Fighting Needle, I guess, Hunter Soko. Do I want this card? Kind of feel like I want this card. We could torpor orb so Udo doesn't draw a card when it comes into play. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Savings Reclamation, as we just experienced, is absolutely busted. I don't think I want Surgical, right? There's no way I want Surgical. Man, that, that, bla that blind flipped force. Whew. That blind flip force, whew, baby. That's what dreams are made of right there. Sand's perfect, just like the previous one. All the hands are perfect. Never so a non-perfect hand. Never so in on perfect hand. Because, like, why would you, right? We even get to daze them now? <sighs> Fire. Surgical Uro seems good. I... I don't know. Like, I'm always so skeptical about that kind of place against this kind of deck. Like, we're basically playing a... We're playing a, an attrition game. You're literally actively... 
um, two for one yourself. When National Labor was more illegal, yeah, I still can't believe that was the case for way too long. Uh, I think I'm supposed to brainstorm here because I can play counterbalance and I can set it up. Oof, plans are great. Um, what do I want to put on top? Because I think I want all, all three of these lands. I want to put a one on top because of... I want to play counterbalance, protecting it with uh, from Pyroblast. So I think I do just this. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> what the hell did I just do? Did I literally just do the opposite of what I meant to do? I meant to put a one on top and I put a land instead. Okay, water under the bridge. Water under the bridge. It, I, I mean, it's just so funny, right? Like I see myself doing this so much where I literally say, okay, sweet. Now I can do this and I can do this. And then I go and I do the thing that I want to do. And I just do something completely different for no reason whatsoever. The only reason being that I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Look at me smartly not representing Rev or Pyroblast. Just putting the illusion in my opponent that it's safe for them to go for an Oko. Just go for Oko opponent. Like, what could go wrong? I mean, I, I'm, I'm just white mana. Like, <laughs> I got another white mana. What could anybody ever do with white mana, right? Like, is this a million dollar days? Is that what it is? I'm gonna fluster. Sure. Fluster is good. Days yet. <laughs> Got him. I. Uh, Oh man, all of these options are just so good. I think I'm an Arcanist. No, I think I'm just gonna hit the Fairy and I'm gonna minus on my own Astrolabe to draw another card. This is the game that we're playing. So even if they play Oko, I can just Pyro it and my opponent can't protect the Oko. And then we get to Arcanist. <clears throat> you got an Oko. Your Oko makes a food. Plus. Kill that one. Play this. I like how we're worried about hitting lands with 12 counters in the deck. Yeah, I know, right? Like, silly me. <laughs> silly me. Uh, I'm going to play another around another Oko because their Oko can plus here and then they attack, so I can just plow the token that they make. If they play Udo, I just plow it. So smart! So smart! How can anybody be this smart? Like, it blows my mind. LOL! LOL! You thought that was resolving? Ha 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 ha! <laughs> My opponent thought that was resolving. Can you believe that, chat? 
Can you believe that my opponent thought that that was resolving? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That is so funny. Pyroblast? Yep. Uh, yep. So... Um... So we just pyroblast this, and then we brainstorm the stuff away. No, we just pyro. So yeah, so I think that what we do is we just put this on top, this on top, this on top. We say no. We play a land. And I think that we just attack them. Get back pyro. Pyro kill Soko. <clears throat> then we untap with Pyro and force back up. Yeah, the problem with that is if my opponent has yet another Oko, we are we're actually in trouble, right? Or if they have a Leo. Like they get to draw a card when I power them again. And now next turn, like they can have a decay. Like sure, whatever. Like that that's that's the only bad thing that can happen. But even if they have Decay, we can just like Teferi minus, play another Teferi, protect it with Pyro. Like we're, we're just we're just in really good shape. My opponent's mana is non-functional. Pyro. Uh, source. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna... I think this is just worth protecting. Well, that was a good showing. That <laughs> that game was kind of ridiculous, honestly. That that game was kind of absurd, I'm not gonna lie. That game was just absolutely silly. Sixteen lands scaring me, but it works. I mean, it worked those games. Like game one, I kind of struggled a little bit on mana, right? Like I would have liked at a couple of points. I would have liked to have more than just three, but it was just enough. The issue is like there, this is so many three drops, right? Like this is this is way too many three drops. Like I feel like I would cut two of these mentors, um, go up to a seventeenth land, like cut two of these mentors, and I don't know, like add another preordain maybe. I mean we're just somehow finding all of these three land hands, which are just perfect. So obviously I have no idea why I'm complaining when this is just perfect. Astrolabe? Sure. And I think I'm fine with finding one more land. This is only bad if we're playing against specifically combo. Probably okay with risking that. Well, I guess that fucks me. Guess it's also bad against that one, huh? Lol. We can't be turn one chalice. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> mentor. Can we just draw a mentor here? Never lucky. Just draw a mentor and just get me out of this mess. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just draw a mentor. Easy mentor off the top here. Easy mentor. No land. Pass the turn. Yes, there we go. Oh, that's right. The fairy also works. Train this view. Well, the good thing is we don't have to we don't have to force a blood moon. Seventeen turn clock, Chad. Let's go.
Chalice and Zero resolves. The Fairy Mentor. I think that Mentor might actually be lethal in one single swoop, right? Mentor is just lethal in one attack, I think. <laughs> Second Dread Horde, double the clock. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Double the clock, can never lose. <laughs> Turn seven opponent just cannot find a land. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Don't exile a monkey to put this into play. Oof. For a second there, I got super worried. No. No. This is just a 3-3. Three, three. I can't beat a 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> My 1-3s cannot beat a 3-3. Three, three. Damn it. Just Blood Moon me, opponent. Just play a Blood Moon so I don't care about it. Yes. Yes. Let's go. White. Blue. Blue. Nice and easy. Blood Moon resolves. <laughs> Can we please? Opponent finally finds second land. They immediately they immediately destroy their their extra their double mana source. Damn it, we can't even block that one. I mean, we can block the one ones. Oh no, our perfect clock has been slowed down. Come on! <laughs> God damn it! Ah, we, I was complaining about the insane amount of free drops that we had. And now we can't find any. Great poker hand though. Two, two, and two. Mentor, the fairy. Yes. Um. Now this is going to be a massacre. Totally fucking doing this chat. We're totally doing this. We're totally doing this chat. We're totally doing this. Okay, so they swing with everything. Uh, that's some stuff. That's some stuff. Good luck. Block, 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 and block. Okay. Brainstorm. Triggers. Announce triggers. Announce triggers. 
It's a much simpler board state we got now. Pew pew pew! Turn one chalice? No problem. As long as you don't play land for like eight more turns, we should be fine. <laughs> All right, mono red. Um, Classems, I guess. And that's it. Oh, where tears? That seems fine. Uh, counterbalance seems horrible. Ho 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 horrible. <laughs> there is something with an MTG, yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is this is how I want to be boarding. Like the days is obviously suck on the draw, but like are they better than a plow? They might not be better than a plow. I think it's a chalice is just such a big deal. Run blood <laughs> Yeah, I also love how my opponent, like, they slam the Blood Moon before even playing the Arrival Master. They just slam the Blood Moon. They're like, yeah, finally, I get to play my Blood Moon here on this on this board state of my opponent not having enough lands. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this. A Needle is, is in there. Needle is, there's a one-off Needle in the main deck, which completely baffles me. So this hand loses to to turn one chalice, but like it's fine otherwise. Don't chalice me, bro. Don't chalice me, bro. Blood moon? Oh rabble. I guess we also lose to that, huh? <laughs> it's okay, we have some plows that we can draw into. We're totally drawing into some plows. Days not looking particularly great this game. Gonna say as much. We'll say as much. Days is not looking promising. Ah, yeah, fuck no. I mean, they don't have another land because they, they exile another monkey to play that one. But like now we kind of have to top deck exactly a plow plow of the top nice and easy it's gonna play a tarn I'm gonna brainstorm on end step, which feels awful, but I think it's what I have to do. It's a lot of damage. That's right, we're playing Classum. Huh. Am I drawing I'm just No, yeah, I just have to I just have to brainstorm on end step. Like there's just no way around it. Oh come on, just don't have more shit. <clears throat> Classum, right here, power classum. Uh, thank you for the follow there. Missed, missed your name. Gork. Yeah, this is not it. I think that we can lose. Go. We take one ping. We need to shuffle. And then, like, we just die to the Golos, so we're dead. Okay, we're gonna be on the play now, it's gonna be great. Savines, maybe, can go. Probably the game doesn't make it that far. Look at us get completely flooded and die to a Trini Sphere now, right? Brought in the extra source of plowshares. Totally gonna get destroyed by non creatures now. Perfect.
perfect hand. Perfect hand. Never did not have the second land, so even if they have Chalice, we don't care too much. Yeah, we can beat that one this time around. Kind of like the land. Ah, oh, we just shuffled. Shadow school smashing. That's kind of dope. Jeez, okay. Easy. I swear there are some power plasms in there. My opponent is so in on the on the global plan. That's fine. Mentor, please. STP. Okay. I mean, at least we're not dying. We might just have to pyroclasm some of these dudes, though. We need something, though. We need one of our many card advantage engines. We're just gonna get Karned, aren't we? We're totally getting Karned. Or they just pass the turn instead. Sweet. Honestly, that is kind of a waste. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say no to that. But kind of feels like I have to because like I'm taking considerable amounts of damage, and I already have another gobble covered. There we go. All right, we're good now. Resolves. It's dead. I could have gotten back the bolt, but I think that you know drawing with this Arcanist is just more important. Uh, yeah, shuffle that stuff away. Okay. Nice little insurance policy. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm just drawing the mentor and I'm just playing it right now, right? Just closing the game. I wonder if my opponent has their own sweepers. I mean, we, we have the force anyway, but 
it would be interesting to know how they how they are approaching this kind of matchup. Got a Chrome box. Oh, they don't have double red. <laughs> That's what. That's why they tapped mana and they didn't do anything. It's just they did literally not have double red. That's very funny. Fiery confluence. That seems force worthy. Like they can play Karn, but it just doesn't really matter. They played their super as like yeah. They couldn't even cast the. <laughs> <laughs> they land anyway. <laughs> Yo, is this deck like, broken? <laughs> Keep. Perfect hand. Just like every single hand we've ever seen. Just absolutely perfect. No weaknesses. Opponents that you know, though. Mold to five. Oof. Wonder if they're playing like a fair deck. Because if they're playing a fair deck and they mold to five like that, I think we're probably gonna be in a fair in a good spot. But like my opponent could all, could always be playing something ridiculous, like oops or whatever. And then their five is just like ritual, land. Pedal, Battle Street Spider, and Cabal Therapy, and they name Force, and we die. Seems like a fair deck. I mean, I guess it could be Storm or something like that, it's Doomsday. My first opponent was also 3 0. I don't remember, but sweet. We got him. They shuffled. Can lead on ponder. We're probably gonna want to get rid of these, but so I think we keep this. We don't shuffle. We play the tundra. And we say go, and if we have to daze something, we can just draw into the daze with brainstorm. In fact, we can even do that on our end step because that sets us up to like mentor into. Mentor plus days. The problem with that is that we are left without a blue card, so that kind of sucks. I guess now I think of it, that's just wrong because... I mean, it's just a matter of do I want to shuffle these plows, and I think I kind of do. Okay, so my opponent is definitely on Storm, aren't they? So I guess I'm getting the turn off. I'm taking the turn off to shuffle these plows away. I mean, moms are my favorite thing to plow stabs, but. Everybody knows that. Kind of by the needle anything. Just polluted Delta. <laughs> Just needle Delta. Next level. Oh, it is Doomsday. Personal tutor. Dress. Gonna take the force. How is my 16 land deck not playing Mystic Sanctuary, right? That's the question that I'm asking, you know?
Who builds this deck? Without considering the fact that we obviously, we obviously want to be, we obviously want to be doing that kind of stuff. So the good thing about what happens here is that we can bite in needle and we can effectively wasteland them. So next turn, like my opponent is going to take the force here. Then I'm going to untap. I'm going to play my, I guess I'm not going to untap. I'm going to shuffle first. And we're going to shuffle. We untap. We play Mentor. We play Pite and Needle. We name Polluted Delta. And my opponent is going to have to shuffle their Doomsday away, <laughs> which is pretty funny. So I don't know about the personal tutor before you know what your opponent's doing, right? So like they put Doomsday on top and now they're going to have to shuffle it away or they're going to have to get Stone Rain, right? Those are the two options. And then when they are Stone Rain, then that makes our days that much better. There's a pawn there, but I think that the upside of uh, Needle is just too high here. Also, this mentor kind of kills them next turn. Honestly, it's kind of awesome that we managed to get value from this fighting deal. <laughs> Can you shuffle your doomsday? You know what I'm gonna name opponent, so they dace. We just dace back. I think we just dace back here. It just sets them behind even more mana. Like I, I think my opponent can kill me. They like this. This day is, is getting more value here. Then I mean it's effectively the same thing because I set my opponent behind by one turn, right? Because it's the same thing. So now they don't have the doomsday. So now they shuffled it away, which is fine. Like this fighting needle did what I wanted it to do, <laughs> so this is fine. We got sick value from this biting needle. My opponent has to kill me this turn, basically. Like, they know they can. I guess they don't know about the pawn there. But they have to kill me this turn. Like, they, they can't... They don't have time for a next turn. And they don't have the Doomsday, because they shuffled it away. What's Needle for? Uh, my opponent, a uh, personal tutor for Doomsday. So I was going to play Needle and name the Polluted Delta. So my opponent shuffled it. Uh, they shuffled their own Doomsday away. So they basically threw away a personal tutor. So how many campers do we need here? So this is four, seven, 10. So we need two cantrips and a bolt. What's up, Donnie? Donnie, we're kicking ass with your deck. We're kicking ass with your deck. So far, 2 0. Deck has been super impressive. Ponder. We played some sick matches, Donnie. Oh. 
is this just like the nuts? Like, is this just like the ridiculousness? This is just completely insane. This is just the nutter butters. Put this on top, put this on top. <laughs> Good try, opponent. Good try. <laughs> Just ponder into the complete nuts. Like, literally unbeatable. There's no combination my opponent can ever have. Miss Lethal, I could have... I guess I could have forced my own thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, whatever. That was just awesome. Uh, okay, so we definitely want Pyro Blasts. We can cut all the STPs. I think I'm going to keep the Bolts, because my opponent might be on an Arcanist Cyborg plan. Um, oh, Torpor always did nuts against them. What else? That's it? This day gets to play Wasteland for free, in my opinion. I think the Sabine's Reclamation doesn't make a ton of sense, because I'd see some... Um... Twin, like, I just copied and pasted this list because Donnie asked me to. Like, I think that 16 lands might be... Like, this is way too many 3-drops. I, I, I would not play 4 Mentors. I would play 3 at most. Maybe 2 is even the correct number. And then you have to play probably some other form of threat. Uh, but, like, 16 lands with 3... Like, we have been lock-sacking like crazy. Like, we have we never found a 1-lander. A one lander. Like, we have not seen a 1-lander so far. Like, it's, it's been, like, our hands have been, like, <laughs> top level. Absolutely incredible hands. Every single match we've played so far. Uh, but I think that this deck probably needs, like, 17 or 18 lands. Probably, probably 17. 17 seems like a way more realistic number. I mean, look at this hands. Like, we always see, like, two landers at least. And then, like, a bunch of cantrips and stuff. And everything just works out nicely for us. Think you want a third wasteland? I just don't know if you want to be wastelanding. Like, I don't think that you can just both wasteland and daze them with this deck. Like, you can do that with Delver, but like, we're not playing Delver on turn one. So, wasteland, like, the daze actually has been kind of awkward. Tutor for Doomsday. Just spawn there, right? Looking for some other form of interaction, so we're going to shuffle this. It's not quite interaction, but... Uh, well, does that mean we can't Arcanist this turn? Because we just brainstorm plus rev. It kind of feels like it, right? We can Arcanist next turn if we find the land. I just really want to Arcanist with rev back up. So that when my opponent goes for it, we just get to, we just get to uh, rev their force, or days or whatever they're playing. Defense grid. That's fucked up. Um. 
I think I'm gonna brainstorm in response. Ugh. No white source is rough. I really wanted to find a white source there. Because then we could have just like defense grid, let it resolve. Uh, if they have a ritual into Doomsday, they win. But like if they don't, we get to next turn, just like force into stuff. So I think we're doing this. And now we just have to force the defense grid, which sucks. Not pitching the fairy. Well, if they have another defense grid, well, like my opponent seems to be playing pretty conservatively because they could have gone for it there. Um, so if they have another defen defense grid, I just kind of lose to it, right? So. Oh. I guess they just YOLO now. Sixteen down to nine. I mean, if we can trip into a bolt, we have lethal. So that's kind of cool. They have two cards left in hand. So it's not that likely that they win right here. Not through a red, at least. See how they board this real quick. Massacre. Bunch of defense grids. They kept the daces, they kept the dresses. Ideas about, I love that this card sees play. Cavern is gone. So I suspect that they just have another defense grid. Bolt. Bolt. Nah, I'm not keeping days, right? Am I? Yeah, I think that this is just not gonna be enough. And now we brainstorm. All right, brainstorm, save me. Save the day. Why is seven reclamation in my deck? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Guess I forgot about that one, huh? Might have forgotten about that one. All right, opponent, can you beat my Red Elemental Blast? I think I'm supposed to rev the, the Brainstorm that they play here, or Ideas Unbound, or whatever. Oh, they just have Defense Grid, fuck me. There's no way I should have bolted there, though, right? There's no way. No way. So they just need pedal, pedal. No, they they can't win, right? Oh yeah, they they just sack in response. Yeah, okay. No, we're just dead. We're just dead. Yeah, LED cycler. There's no way I was supposed to bolt there, right?
There's no way I was supposed to bolt there. I guess Blood Moon is more effective than Sabine's Reclamation. And even Teferi, honestly. Like, Teferi seems... I guess it answers... I guess it answers wear, uh, wear Tear, I guess. Answers Defense Grid. So maybe this is just more efficient way to answer Defense Grid. They already used one Street Wraith. I know that they play two Street Wraiths, but... Maybe I should have looked for that. Um, yeah. BMs is, seems good. On the play, I feel like it's a lot more defensible. I don't know if I would say that it's good. Mm, just ponders and just lands and cantrips, so we keep, I guess. Um, let's more lands, more cantrips. The one of Rev. <laughs> the one of Rev, which literally we just shuffled away, showed up again. We're gonna draw Prismatic Vista now. Just wait for it. They had four defense grids. They had four. Am I forcing this? I mean, I'm forcing and I'm going to get dazed or forced or whatever, right? But... I mean, you, you can't really play around your opponent just having to turn one, right? With, with, with counter backup. We could have not pondered and then my opponent goes for this and we just get him, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Oops. Good old turn one doomsday with days back up. Tough to beat, tough to beat. Maybe it was correct to land go, but like if, if I go, if I just land go, then my opponent just doesn't go for it. So we're damned if we do, damned if we damned if we don't. Honestly, Doomsday seems like a bad matchup for this kind of like mid rangey control -y deck. We we just don't play enough counter magic. Yeah, also our hand was not great, right? Like, it was a hand that we would 100% keep, but, like, it wasn't a great hand. It wasn't a hand that just, you know, we know that we're winning the game. It's not even a hand that we know that we're ahead. One, two, three, four. So they exile or four defense grids. Wait, are we dead just right now? Oh, they just double Street Wraith. Street Wraith into Street Wraith into Oracle. Oh, or that, sure, whatever. Wow. Okay. 
<laughs> win. He actually drew the Vista. <laughs> and the foil one too. That's insane. That is really funny. That we look at a ponder, we shuffled, and two of the three cards that we put on back on top, they were back on top. That, two of the cards that uh, were shown, that were shuffled away, we just drew two of them. That's pretty funny. That Doomsday deck, man, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Pretty, pretty strong. This card has felt so random. Matthias hard style. Okay. Just another perfect hand. Let's go. Even if we don't like the Pied Meal, we can just shuffle it away. Just good value. Just good value. Miss the Underworld Bridge combo decks? Fuck that, man. <laughs> Those decks were messed up. I don't miss that shit at all. I think I actually stopped playing Legacy when Bridge was popular, because I'm like, I was just over it. Oh man, if only I had a way to stop this from like wrecking me. My opponent's playing a better deck than I am though. No, they're not. Oh, why, why didn't I force this? Whoops. But I'm definitely not wasting my time playing that thing, so. Just get a bulk here, play Arcanist. Like, this is just not gonna counter shit. Maybe it counters your cantrips and whatnot, but. Just gonna try to two rule mentor. Yeah, that sounds a lot, right? Nope. Don't have another one. Come on, be reasonable. Get another pose. So this is going to be three, four, five mana next turn. At force is nice. At force is hella nice. Uh, so let's put this on top and this on top. Play this. Go get a tundra. Do we even plow this reclaimer? Yeah, because we're forcing the Titan, right? Like, if my opponent plays the Titan, we're fucked already, so. Sure. Um, so let's put these and this on top. One, two, three. They have nothing that costs three, right? That costs five. Now we draw the brainstorm. I mean, there's a mentor. Shit. Just a little bit short here. Just a little bit short. Oops. <sighs> We're definitely in an, in an I'm in danger kind of situation here. 
so what am I doing here? So what, what does my next turn look like? So I'm gonna be brainstorming on my end step. So I wanna hold the brainstorm in hand because next turn I'm gonna mentor and I wanna make sure that I can uh, brainstorm again. So that means that I'm supposed to brainstorm on my end step. Um, So this is six, seven, eight mana that my opponent's gonna have next turn. Shit, so much mana. How oh, the fuck do I win? I'm just gonna race them. Like I need at least one more turn, which is probably too much to ask. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to brainstorm here. Just a casual tapping eight mana. Well, gotta force that one. Uh, we could double days. But if we double days, we don't brainstorm, which is what I wanted to do. Then they kill. Yeah, we just have to force this here. Yeah, we just have to force. So, brainstorm on end step. Well, that actually sucks. So, we. Do we bolt? What if we bolt instead of brainstorming? No, we have to brainstorm because then we can probably just find a land. So, I guess we put. Yeah, just put this back on top. We don't bolt here. Now we mentor. We don't send not cycle not uh, because we could have hard cast days. If my opponent plays something that I can exactly hard cast days, it seemed worth it to me. That was my thinking at least. Can't really catch a break here. I mean, we can't beat the knuckle, right? The knuckle means I can't grow my dudes. And I'm missing land drops because I'm only playing 16 lands in my stupid deck. So we just hope that my opponent never draws any other threat. That's the, that's the win con. <laughs> that's the win con that we're going for here. We know there's a Bolt and an Arcanist on top of my deck. So we're gonna pay for like Mentor and Dreadhorde. I like, we're not paying for Monk. We're not paying for Monk. We are paying for this. And we are paying for that too. This is rough. This is very rough. Um, I bolt. They go down to 16. We swing for 4. Go down to 12. Send another bolt. I, I just need more lands. I just need more lands. So I just have to draw into more lands. Like this tabernacle is just completely hosing me. But I, I don't think I can win the game if I don't draw more lands. 
Um, guess no. They have bog, so maybe I was supposed to do that there, but just don't have a threat. All right, sweet. End step, tap GG. What? That's cool. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> um, if we draw a land, we can do one, two, three. So this is going to be four plus six down to nine so if we pay here we can lethal them if we draw exactly a land no 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 no. that's not no yeah that's true so what happens if i pay for both of this if i draw a land and i don't pay for this i can still bolt their face down to nine and it's not lethal shit But if I draw a can, I think I, I can't pay for this monk. So if I pay for this monk, it's only good if I exactly draw, if I draw exactly land. If I draw exactly land, then it's fine. And if I don't draw a land, then it's actually worse because it's less damage. I don't have faith that we're drawing a land, so I'm not gonna pay. I'm sorry, Chad, I just have no faith. All right, got to dodge one more turn. One turn, baby. No, 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 they're tapping a ton of mana. <laughs> I know. I'm exactly at 15, Chad. <laughs> Exactly at 15. They have exactly 15 mana. Just gonna daze it for value. <laughs> God. Really, opponent? Really? God damn it. Well, that sucked. We have literally nothing for the matchup, just Blood Moons. I mean, I guess they're okay. Counter balance seems so shit though. Yeah, no, they seem ball doesn't do it because it counters your own days, so it's not a great idea. Uh, it counters your own bold. So that's why I was saying that we were we were missing we were missing some some stuff. I mean, uh, twin. I'm not saying that this deck doesn't meet, need more lands. I'm saying that like this deck needs more lands. <laughs> when I saw the deck for the first time, I assumed, immediately assumed that I the deck needed more lands. Whether that's Wasteland or that's that's just actually colored lands, that's a different story. But like I, I saw the list and I'm like, yeah, I mean if you look at if you look at the at the screen right now at the bottom over there. No, over there I guess. Uh it says just guide land cluster. Of course of course, that means lackluster in terms of lands, right? You get it? We get it? That's the joke. That's the joke right there. Uh, well, the fairy probably kind of sucks. You saw what I did there? Yeah, I know. Pretty smart. Maybe they have like library and shit. Like, I just want to cut these cards from my deck because they suck, right? 
So I just want to play like actual cards instead. I mean, I'm going to keep this hand and then I'm going to be very sad, but. <laughs> going to be very, very sad if it doesn't work out, but if it does, this hand is not afraid of Reclaimer. It's not afraid of prime time. Oh man. We were so close to. We were one turn away and my opponent just makes it to 15 mana on the last possible turn. Honestly, to be fair, it's possible that the Emrakul was already in their hand. And they just, honestly, they just didn't have the mana just yet to cast it. It's also possible that they just top decked it, and that would make this story even more Luxaki. So clearly my opponent is officially a Luxak. I think this is supposed to be like the matchup that we can't beat though. I'm honestly surprised how badly uh, Tabernacle host us. Like we were just fine chilling there and then like Tabernacle and I'm like, oh, oh shit. I mean, I, I just have to, I just have to preordain looking for a land. That's not a land, Chad. That's not a land. And boom, we lose. Feels bad, man. Who the fuck thought that 16 lands was going to be enough? Like, who builds a control deck, like a mid-range control deck, and they're like, oh yeah, 16 lands is fine. We don't, we don't have to worry about it. Just We, we just got 16 lands. Like, we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Just, like, no, we're fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, okay, sweet. Um... So we're just going to plow this guy. How do we have no white cards is what I'm asking here. So this next turn we just slam Mentor and we take it from there. Hope that it's good. A blue card would would make me feel a lot better about our situation, but Knuckle. Fuck. Can't beat that card. We're gonna race, baby. It's time to race. It's time to race. Let's go. Time to race. They have to pay for Reclaimer. After they pay for Reclaimer, we just bolt it. Are, they, are you not gonna pay? <laughs> now that you played it, you're not gonna pay. You seen it for it. That's what I thought. Boom, it's dead now. Gotcha. There you go, Yama. Okay, so. We got... 
We got some ground to cover here, but we have lands this time around, so... So this Knackle is not gonna hurt us as much. We'd love to see a, a blue card, okay. Sweet, so this means that we can actually use this Bolt aggressively here to push for more damage. Uh, also, I'm not playing around flat carpet of flowers. I should probably be playing around cover. I, I can't play around carpet of flowers. <laughs> Literally, the only two non uh, the only two non islands in my deck I can play. So I, I I'm very smartly playing around carpet of flowers. That's what I've been doing all along, obviously. That's exactly what I was doing. Yep, we're on the aggro plan. This is our plan. Paying for all of them. This time I like all of the monks. Cantrip. Second mentor, basically the same thing. All right, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Funny how if my opponent had waited until my upkeep to to do this. I like my mentor would have died. Right, because they did it main phase, they just kind of got themselves. But like, th there's literally no reason to do it main phase. It's just strictly correct to do it on my upkeep. Because, like, you even steal one of my mana. You not only kill the mentor, but you also steal one of my mana. There we go. They figure it out. Cantrip. Yes. Sure. Contortion kills my mentor. We're down to one. Oh. Create a 1-1 one, one champ blocker. All right, <laughs> sounds good. I mean, what's their end game? I don't understand. Like, why are they still playing? Explo Do they have explosives? Crop rot. Gl glacial chasm? Chasm still kills them. They felt around for all, they weren't going... Yeah, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, I'm very well aware that, that that's exactly what happened. But, like, I'm, I am just don't understand... Because like they're still playing, they're still thinking, but that's just wasted energy on their part. Even a snare bridge doesn't do anything because they cannot play everything and the snare bridge, so they cannot like empty their hand. So that's what kind of you know they're looking for radiant fountain. Yeah, <laughs> radiant fountain doesn't also doesn't also do it either. 
that's the point that I'm trying to make. Like they they have actual literal zero outs. So at that point, like why, what are they doing? Anyway, um, yeah, just submit the same. I'm not like super excited about this card, honestly. Like in all these tops prime time, because all the all the Eldrassi Titans are just cast. The status bar in the top right. Oh, the um, the thing that gives you the result. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a feature that has been around in MTG Bog for like a long time now. I would even say years. I the first one that I saw using it was Jeff Hoogland when so imagine how long that was. <laughs> uh, but obviously no landers over ship it. Um so it's been around for a while, but it was broken for a long time, and now it's back to working. So it's nice. So this is our end game. So we want that. Um, hmm. Guess I'm gonna bottom wear and tear. They can go like turn one or two carpet of flowers, and I'm I'm in a lot of I'm just in a world of pain, but. Playing our own carpet of flowers like a champion. Absolute champion. Yeah, it was um, the the person who, it's Dan Bobes, uh, who is the, the creator of MTG Bot. And they are the ones who have been basically developing the bot for years now. Um, well, I need a plot to kill this. That's the easy part. You can't undo, right? You can't undo a ponder shit. Now, I guess that's fine. Like, I mean, we're gonna have to shuffle away the Arcanist, but like, I still, I'm probably gonna mentor next turn anyway, right? So. Be hideous if I drew this. Like, am I really dacing anything? Is there literally anything that I'm willing to like dace myself for? It's not looking great, Chad. It's not looking great. Do we draw Arcanist is the question. Do we want to draw Arcanist or do we want to shuffle it away? Honestly, I'm feeling very dead here. I think Arcane is just going to be too slow, honestly. So I'm just going to shuffle it away. They just have Contortion. Fuck, man. Oh, okay. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine. Like, we're probably going to lose to that, but <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Let's put it that way. Oh, I have again. Of course. Uh, three. <gasps> no more. Is that is that good, Chad? <laughs> is that is that a good draw? <laughs> is that a good fucking draw, Chad? Is that what that is? I think that might have been a good draw, Chad. I even fucked it up, right? Like I even fucked it up because I should have, um, like I should have brainstormed first. Because if I if I find a fetch, then I want to fetch. But like I just got too excited. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just panted. I just punted. <laughs> I just got too excited when the blood moon just shows up from the top. I'm just like stop. <laughs> 
I'm here. <laughs> Jess got back, what happened? I expertly managed to top deck one of my two Blood Moons in order to make sure that my opponent's mana development went completely MIA. So they're probably gonna get Ballista, which we might have to force. Like, it's the only thing that they can cast, right? So they just make it to two Ballista. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, when my opponent played this one, I'm like, oh, that doesn't seem too good. Like, it's a one mana one two. It takes a long time to get going. I don't know. I'm, I'm not so sure about that card. Seems seems pretty medium to me. Um, I might just brainstorm in here. I think I'm just brainstorming. Yeah, it was definitely like me sequencing on my part, but like, whatever. Just got too excited. I mean, I'm thinking of forcing whatever they play anyway. So that's why I want to brainstorm here to see if I have access to cantrips. Yeah, no. They did have the force. They did have the force. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do this, this. So I guess we look for Plow here. So we ponder first, we might want to shuffle this. Days. Seems a little bit risky. This first, because it digs one card deeper. Uh, wait a second. Is this just lethal? Yeah, this is just lethal. Because three... No, this is not just lethal. We're one trigger short of lethal. Bro. No, we didn't play a land. So if we find a cantrip off of this brainstorm, we can brainstorm, bounce the land to days, we brainstorm into another cantrip, and then our dudes are five... Are six sixes? Because this is four fours, five fives, six six, and then three six sixes get through, and that's lethal. Yeah, I think that we are just we are doing this, and we're looking for exactly a cantrip. So we do this, brainstorm, get triggers, cast this, bounce in here. And we pay. Yes. Brainstorm resolves. Find the perfect card. Land. Plow your golos. Swing for lethal. Perfect. Cloud Post shit some blue decks. Blue decks cannot beat Cloud Post. <laughs> the blue decks can never beat Cloud Post. Cloud Post just hoses blue decks. Let me tell you about a card. Yeah, I, I, I know that's actually true. <laughs> I know that's actually true. Uh, but like Mentor is just sick. I like I I do love Mentor. I think Mentor is just a, such a sweet card. Very underplayed card in my opinion. 
that was probably always my favorite thing about control decks. Like, you would play against the control deck, and they would have, like, their Teferis and their Jaces and, like, their Celestial Colonnades and shit. And then you would go to post-board games, and then your opponent would play a Mentor on turn three, and you're playing Amulet, and you're like, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Mentor is your favorite creature of all time. It, it, it really is great. Like, whenever it does the thing, it, it is very, very impressive. I don't think there's any creature that can just turn the corner as quickly as Monastery Mentor. What do we think, chat? Do we believe? Do we believe? I'm gonna believe. I have nothing but faith in this deck. Nothing but faith. Just gonna get our basic island. We're gonna get our basic ponder. We're gonna find a second island. Nice and easy. I mean, this sucks though, right? Like, can can we actually afford to keep? We can't afford to keep this. Like, we can't we can't cast anything. <laughs> never, never had a doubt. Never had a doubt that it was gonna be great. Never, never doubted for a second. Never doubted for a second. I just knew all along. It was known. All along it was known. I'm just gonna let this resolve and then I'm gonna play Arcanist on two. I don't get the Neil Domain deck either. <laughs> I think I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I don't think that the needle in the main deck is very good. It seems super random to me. Abby Dolly, thank you for the follow. These days is gonna get him so badly. They're gonna get God. It's crazy how God they're gonna get. My opponent's just gonna go into, like, just net. Oh, fuck. We're just getting Phoenix chat. Am I decent this? I think I just have to daze this, right? Hopefully my opponent cannot play another spell this turn. Do they have zero mana spells? Name Phoenix with Needle? Yeah, exactly. Perfect play. So let's play this counterbalance, and we're just gonna try to put it one on top with this ponder right here. Can the good guys achieve perfection? Right? No! Why do I always misclick the Arcanist? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I've been playing for too long. I've been playing for too long today. Ugh. Mistakes were made. Uh, Counterbalance has been the nuts or terrible. Like, no middle ground. 
It's fine, the correct card is on top. I certainly hope so. Man. There's a Tundra on top, chat. There's a Tundra. Disaster has stricken, chat. Disaster has stricken. Don't dark rid me. Cling to dust. Targeting my ponder? My ponder? Counterbalance is the reason for 16 lands, by the way. But now you want to counter your opponent's zero drops. <laughs> this Pidey Needle is looking so bad. Savage. Savage. I think I'm bolting this Delver. But this bolt slows down the clock of the Phoenixes, so I, I literally cannot afford to do it. Wow. Just really got God chat. Main deck cling. I guess I should have pied needle the uh, skull in turn anyway, huh? I think I'm just bolting this. Play the nothing. Because I'm going to play around this. Okay. No cling, I guess. I think yeah, no, I'm just gonna make the correct play. I was honestly thinking about just like memeing and just playing the needle, see if it's stuck. <laughs> but I'm not gonna be like that. Ball to you now. God damn it. The race is almost won, chat. Fear not. They're like brainstorm? What's brainstorm? What's a brainstorm? I'm just gonna crack my fetches here for no reason. I mean, Days was kind of nuts there. Can you please explain, uh, Boki, can you please explain this? Why do we have a main deck by the needle? Blood 
blind flip, force of negation, basically the unluckiest. So unlucky. So unlucky it's not even funny. Can't even cantrip. Just the saddest timeline all around. The saddest timeline all around. And all because of that failed ponder. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Force is insane here. Why? They're getting back three phoenixes. What does it do? The Phoenix are in the yard already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's that's my that's the whole point. That's why it's so bad. The Phoenix is already in there. I mean, we're gonna get to plow two of these and then the other one's gonna slowly kill us. And we're drawing a force of negation, which doesn't do anything. Do I play another Arcanist or do I play a Force? I'm gonna play another Arcanist. Because I wanna really go off if I find a cantrip. Although I guess I really can't. I mean, we have Forest for the, for the Cling to Dust. So that's kind of nice. Can we have a cantrip on the top? Just a nice little cantrip, you know? Just a nice little cantrip. Hardcast Phoenix. Lightning Bolt. Man, it's not the best. It does stop their clock. And they only have two cards left. that I imagine my opponent's playing lightning bolt right Cantrip on top. Easy. Never doubt it for a second. That is such a random card. <laughs> it's such a random card to be in their deck. <laughs> now we do say no. Okay, sweet. Now we do say no. Nine turn clock. Let's go. Let's get going. Like Pioneer? No, Pioneer has been terrible. Needle has been the worst card in the deck by so much, it's not even funny. I 
Monastery Mentor. I'm forcing this though, I th I think. Why does my opponent see more cantrips than I do? Also, I can't needle cling to dust. Just poor deck building. No! Oof! Click the wrong one. Oof! Dodge one there. Oh man. All the swings. Uh, I'm just naming Polluted Delta. But that was a great trigger that we just got there. It's a great trigger. Can we five cantrips before my opponent does? That's basically what we're trying to fight here. Cantrip on top. There's going to be a cantrip on top. Focus your energy, folks. Cantrip on top. Nice, easy force of will, of course. Easy force of will. Actually, that force is not bad, because it means that my opponent can't kill me next turn. So this is kind of fine. Plow there. I was thinking about the same thing. Like I was thinking about that cling to dust in there and I'm like, hmm, really wish I could. <laughs> really wish I would I would uh, be able to needle that the cling right there. That'd be great. Hard cast force, let's go. Let's go. How much is this? Three, five, six, seven. And we totally have a cantrip on top, so like that's fine. Okay, we have lethal next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Show me that cantrip. Show me that cantrip right here. Okay, so here's the question. I guess I play around days. Um, here's the question. My opponent clings on end step. Do we force? We don't, right? All breacher. There's another force on top. There's no sanctuary, Shadow. Uh, I'm not sure, because this means that Bolt is lethal now. I mean, I guess that we can just counter the Bolt. We can just counter the Bolt, I guess. The difference between three and two is is non-existent. So, fetching here to get a brand new look seems worth. Oh, now you now the cantrips show up. So my point I wanted to do there was to like cling, like a dark ritual into cling into something else, but now they can't do shit.
You can't do anything upon it, you're dead. You know about the force. Fetch too strong. <laughs> Fetch land too broken. Absolutely busted. Putting a lave on top, nice and easy. I said no opponent, like, oh, they're just jamming into. Should I just hard cast the force into the ponder? <laughs> just hard cast the force because we can. For value. Surgicals, we want. Pyros and revs, we kind of want. Pyroclasm just kills their entire deck, so I kind of want. What else? Get, get this out of my deck, please. Please get this out of here. Uh, Savines kind of sucks. Daces on the draw can probably go. Counterbalance is kind of medium on the draw. I like, would probably like it better on the play. The fairy can go. Maybe shave a mentor. And my win condition is for my opponent to not have a win condition. Because I feel like we have to keep the forces. Can we talk about that days that my opponent could pay for and they just completely time walk themselves and then we won because of that, like eight or ten turns later? Sometimes they switch for Doomsday. Huh. Well, that's something that we can't really beat. Like, we could Torbor over, but. We're bringing a lot of answers to the Phoenix. Maybe the Classrooms can go. But honestly, the other guys also kind of scare me. Do we need three surgical to class them? Yeah, I mean we can we can cut the classums. I'm I'm okay with that. I mean days on the draw is it has been super awkward for us. I think I got like classum better than the surgicals, if anything. So if we're not playing around the phoenixes, then but the problem is that the, the thing is, the way I'm, I'm looking at it is we are on the draw. So I feel like the way that we lose more often on the draw is going to be to my opponent just like turn one, turn two, putting like five, the three phoenixes into play. So I feel like I want to have cards that prevent that from happening. Maybe I'm just playing myself here. But I think that on the draw, I'd rather do something like this. And then on the play where we are going to, you know, just be ahead, then we can actually use our daisies in order to stop them. I'm going to try this. And if it doesn't work, we can like talk about it for game three. But like I have like 20 seconds left. so. All right, surgicals, be good. Prove me right, because I like to. I like to be right. So, uh, this seems oddly fine to me. Think I'm keeping here? My opponent is doing the 61 card special. Love it. Love it already. Nothing but respect for 61 cards. It really shows you care, you know? Sweet. So a Volk means that we can't get turn one, I don't think. Now here's the real question. Like, I'm leading on Volk, but do I ponder or do I pyro the Delver? I think I'm going to ponder. Looking for something that matters. That matters. So I guess I'm keeping this. I think I like this. This doesn't protect my pyro class, which is the awkward thing. So I'm going to be taking 12 <laughs> if my opponent goes off. Uh, but the force like stops the phoenixes from happening immediately. So that's nice. And it seems like my opponent, like they, they have Delver in their decks. So they are probably not going to be... Um, they're probably not going to be uh, on, a, on a Doomsday plan. At least I wouldn't imagine. That seems 
like a little bit gritty. So they're gonna flip this Delver with their Brainstorm, which seems, honestly, it seems kind of great for me. They have fours. Aha, uh -huh, they have fours. They have fours. So I guess I'm just gonna play the Astrolabe, draw the card, the Pyroblast on their upkeep. Um, though that makes it easy for them to trigger Phoenixes. No, uh, we Pyro Blast at the beginning of combat, because that means that they cannot they cannot get Phoenixes, and then we can protect the Pyro with the Force if we need to. So I think that's the better timing. So like now, we know that we're fine. We get to use our mana with this Pyro right here. And I guess if they force, we just let it resolve, right? That seems fine to me, actually. Hydroblast, your pyroblast. I think I actually want to force. I feel like I actually want them to force here. Sweet, yeah. So this is fine, like my opponent is like super down on resources. And now we just get to Pyroclast and this is insect away and we're just fine. <laughs> um, so I think this is fine. And they're down to two cards, so the likelihood of them actually being able to do something of relevance seems pretty low. But like this gets this gets uh, rid of the force on a turn where it where it just doesn't matter, right? Which is what I'm looking for here. Maybe they could have Arcanist. Maybe they have an Arcanist Cyber Plan. That's what they're what they were casting here. Could be interesting. Yep. Well, I guess we're playing that now. Por qué no los dos, said the girl that one time in that meme. Um, how do we feel about our own Dread Horde and then plow this? And we take three once more. Down to 11. But then our Arcanist just wins. Super cool game, actually, so far. Lots of decisions, lots of little tiny edges, and... Hope we don't get nutted here. I guess even if we get, if we get nutted, like, my opponent draws exactly... Um, they draw exactly Phoenix um, buried alive into, into Dark Red. We're still kind of fine. So I think I'm just gonna plow this thing. Interesting. With the brainstorming hand. Since particularly exciting. I think I'm just gonna pyro. Cause the SDP, the source to plushers is good against uh, either one of the three drop dudes that my opponent showed me. Blast. If they have Hold Richard here, we get super blown out, but they didn't. 
And like, of course, if I knew that I had a mentor, I wouldn't have done it right there, right? But like now, like this is just fine here. Um, just put a rail on top. There's something just particularly sweet about just uh, s some some red elemental blast on hydroblast, some pyroblast on hydroblast action, you know. Just nice, very, very flavorful. Just basically a win. A win on my book. People tell me I can't see Celixis Sipo now, but I never see anyone tap a big blue boy to draw three. Feels bad, man. Yep. Uh, well, this stops sucks, so I'll just shuffle. All right, that's, that's probably game over. And I feel like I'm revving literally anything that I put in place. Like hand trips, I'm revving, like whatever they play into my Red Elemental Blast, I'm just gonna very, very happily trade my Red Elemental Blast for whatever they have. Looks like we're gonna 4 1 this league. Definitely exciting. This deck really is a ton of fun. Uh, I guess we can bolt that. There's a ponder on top. Okay, I'm just gonna bolt it and then we just win next turn. Uh, I guess we just take it, just bolt face. Then we just super lethal them next turn. One oh four point three eight. One oh four point three eight. There's a rule in magic that allows us. To concede the game at any time. This rule is very powerful. Because you can concede the game at any time. A player who concedes the game leaves the game. No, that. How does it go? Loses the game immediately. That player leaves the game immediately. That player loses the game. The creator plays some sort of alpha deck. That's funny. Yeah. I don't think the creator might want to work on lyrics. Are you kidding? They're they're great. All right, Donny. How about that? Nice little four on one. Nice little four on one. And this deck was kind of a delight, honestly. All right, changes. Cut that shit <laughs> right now. Get it out of my deck. God damn it. Uh, we were thinking about Wasteland. That's the card that people were thinking about. Caracas is also an interesting one, but I feel like Waste is fine. Um, but just like, I feel like we have so many uses for the extra mana. And like Astrolabe just filters your mana from Wasteland. So like, it's definitely fine. This is the content we sub for. Well, happy, happy I was able to help. Um, Seven is also kind of awkward. So this would be like step number one. This is like level zero changes. That's level zero changes. Then we go to level two changes, which is like, I, I'm not super high on counterbalance. Like it was fun. Like it, it, was, it was cool a couple of times, but like honestly, in a deck like this, I feel like if we want to play counterbalance, we would also really want to play Mishra's Bubble. Like Mistress Bubble plus Counterbalance is kind of a combo in, in a weird odd sort of way. Pay friend is in my heart and mind to see me suffer. And I really appreciate that stuff. And I really appreciate it. So uh we definitely want the blood moons because blood moons are just great. <laughs> uh 
The Torpor Orb was kind of medium. And Court of Grace feels like we're never casting this card ever. It feels like the blue version, like the blue court of something would be a little bit more castable. And I kind of don't want four, uh, four mentors. I feel like three mentors would be the sweet spot. But I do agree with Twin in that maybe you're just a little bit low on wing cons at that point. So what, uh, what early drop wing con can we find? in the Jeskai colors. How many bits for me to play tier for decks until I cry? It will satisfy my lust for suffering. Ugh. Um, I mean, it depends, right? Like, are those decks Neoform? Because then the price goes, the, the price skyrockets if you want me to be playing, to be playing a bunch of, a bunch of leagues with that shit. Myth realized. Oh, man, this is like the one card. There's very few cards that I thought like this card is gonna be great. And then I was very, very disappointed when it just never did anything. In pre-release, I'm like, this card just seems busted. This card seems so busted in, in eternal formats. And then it just wasn't. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the thing is that this only works if we already have a Dreadhorde going, right? Because the deck is not that, like, we don't really have a card advantage. Like, the deck doesn't generate card advantage in literally no way at all. A specifically, Dreadhorde is the only way that we get card advantage. So it just feels like this card is just... Just gonna sit there. <laughs> Just gonna sit there and do nothing, and yeah, just that. <laughs> so I don't think I like that one. Um, it's a good suggestion, though. Can we do better? Can we do better than that? Can we do better than that? Another wing con in Jeskai colors. That's not Mentor. Pyromancer? Young PC? Huh? How about that? How about that? I'm kind of into it, honestly. I'm kind of into it. Look at how much lower the curve looks like. Like it's a lot more balanced. And now we have more land so we can cast our spells. And our lands also interact with our opponent. Like, it's pretty neat. Yeah, I think that this is where I would be. Make Flampery Amulet a non-Titan deck. God damn it. <laughs> All I know is that it, it ends up with me suffering. Are we, are we just cutting this? Just cut the Torpor Orb. Just play this. 
Honestly, Sevilla's Reclamation wasn't terrible, but like it's never going to get flashbacked unless you're playing against specifically Snowco. And I would honestly, honestly consider just like just playing one wasteland, <laughs> just the other one just being like a fetch, probably a fetch, yeah. But yeah, this is where I would stand at, I think. So if I ever were to play another league with this list, it would probably look something like this, at least my starting point. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you so much for checking it out. Uh, this deck was a lot of fun. I actually had a great time streaming this this pile of cards. And it's been a casual 2 hours and 20 minute league. No big deal. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hopefully you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And I will see you in the next stream. Bye-bye.